Hello to all retrade traders and welcome to Trade the Volume Waves. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up correctly your wave line in Waze Wave with Speed Index Signals Indicator. Setting up the wave line properly, it's one of the most important things because having the wrong waves is giving us the wrong information. It's going to give us the wrong volume, it's going to give us the wrong speed index numbers, it's going to give us the wrong signals. So let's go through the correct and the incorrect uh, wave setup. I will start with the incorrect wave setup and first of all let me make this wave line more visible so I will change the color. Let's make it uh, I don't know something that is visible. Let's try this green. I think it's better now. Okay, and I will start. I will start with a very detailed uh, auto sensitivity because this is the number that adjusts the waves, how many waves we have, and how sensitive uh, uh, we want our chart to be. So the maximum value is 11, which means this is going to be uh, as sensitive as possible, and we're going to get a lot of waves okay so let's zoom in to look what's happening here okay in this scenario we're having lots of waves that we should have not. For example, here we got one, two, three waves, while in this case it should have been just one. Uh, also, here the same story, we should have only one wave, which is this one. Okay, this one right here. Uh, same story happens in other uh, situations of the chart. Now, if I go in the opposite direction and set the indicator to a very low auto sensitivity, which means I'm going to get very few waves, that's again an incorrect setup because Right now, I am missing price swings, and you can see them very easily by eye. Okay, we are missing this price swing from here to here, and then down. We are missing this price swing from here to here and then down. So, what does this tell us? Well, let me add the volume waves so I will explain better what's happening here. So, let me add on the indicators, the wave types, and now the wave type, I need to adjust it in the same auto sensitivity, which is 3. And the wave type is going to be volume. Okay. So look what happened here. We have this down wave. It's all this volume here. Well, in, in this case, this is incorrect because we had an up wave and then down. So this volume here is wrong. So we need to fix this. Okay, so how do we fix that? Well, we adjust the sensitivity of the indicator 
so that we can get the proper price swings, highs and lows. Okay. Sometimes the indicator is not able to catch the correct ones. So at least we are aware that the values we see are not correct. Because wrong information, wrong wave swings will give us wrong volume, wrong speed index, wrong signals. So most important of all, of all is to fix this situation on every chart that we see. Because every instrument is different. Uh, and every time frame is different. So this is a live uh, creature, okay? Trading is a live thing, okay? So it has to be adjusted. We cannot have, you know, a single uh, setting to get everything right. So um, let me adjust this. To be to look the way it's supposed to look so it's correct so let me get the pricing so usually around nine or ten will do the job but this is usually sometimes it does not okay now we got the price swing properly also here which look good very good so let me also adjust the volume and the sensitivity we set was nine and now we're getting the proper swings this is the down volume and this is the up volume and then down again so basically this is it as you can see it goes nice and smoothly okay sometimes you won't be able to catch everything for example here let me zoom in so i can show you This could have been two waves, but the price is doing funny stuff. So it could have been this up move and then this down move and then up again. But the indicator is just grabbing one wave. That's okay as long as we know that what we are looking here, it's wrong. Okay. So... Basically, this is it, guys. Uh, now, if I load all the indicators, just to have a, uh, a feeling how my charts look like. So, right now, the indicators are on with the speed index on, which is this number, and the Bluetooth signals on, which is this red and blue stuff here and also let me adjust my sensitivity to nine all right also these indicators this is the pip wave type to nine they all have too much they all gotta have the same sensitivity that was the volume and now the PVR, the progressive volume rate. So right now we are okay and that's a trade we took here this long, but this is not our tutorial. Our tutorial is to get the right wave swings. I hope this lesson was helpful. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. Thank you. Bye-bye.